Terrible floods in Tanzania killed 49 and injured 85 others, officials confirmed Monday that the aftermath of Sunday night's heavy rains led to devastating floods in northern Tanzania, killing 49 people and injuring more than 85 others in the Manyara region, Queen Sendiga, Manyara Regional Commissioner told reporters that the death toll had risen from 49 to 47 reported a day earlier after two more bodies were recovered from the mud. We expect the death toll to increase as some people are still missing, she said. Sendiga attributed the deaths to a series of landslides triggered by torrential rains that hit the impoverished area, eroding part of Mount Hanang and burying nearby homes. The government has deployed security forces from the army, police, fire, rescue and other agencies to support rescue operations, Sendiga told Anadolu. The impact of the flood was especially severe in Jendabi Ward and the central area of Katesh Town, the administrative headquarters of Hanang District. Houses and homes were swept away by landslides, leaving many people afraid of being trapped, Sendiga said the floods had made the highway from Katesh to Singida region impassable due to debris, submerged houses and trees. Samson Kilio, a Hanang resident, called for government intervention to repair damaged infrastructure, including roads and houses. President Samia Suluhu Hassan, currently in Dubai attending the UN Climate Change Conference COP28, expressed deep regret over the incident. She sympathized with the flood victims and directed all government forces to focus on rescue work and preventive measures in the affected areas. We are extremely sorry to receive the news that heavy rains in many era region caused damage to Katesh. We comfort the victims of the incident. I have directed all government efforts to focus on rescue operations to prevent further disasters, Hassan said.